wireless charging for a Land Rover Discovery Sport. That's right, isn't it, Zach? Right, Zach's been working on this. So we haven't got the whole car. It is on the list to buy a Disco Sport, but we've just bought the centre console. Now, Zach and Ben have been looking at this, and he said there's two types of centre console, isn't there? But apparently one is as rare as hen's teeth. And apparently, does it not have a flip-up lid, Zach? No. No armrest, so it doesn't have an armrest. So if you've got one without an armrest, we had a look on eBay. We couldn't find any cars with that one. They all seem to have this one, which is good for us. Right, so what have we got? We showed this in a vlog the other day. So basically it's a wireless charging pad. So when you put your phone on it, and this is plugged into a USB port, it will all power up. But having that sliding around your car is not much good. So Zach has worked on the design for this. Right now, do we reckon Zach is best? So we're gonna show you how to fit this and how it works. So it's got, got to thread the USB cable through that little hole there. Boop, 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 boop. And it nestles in to this little, oh, that is actually lush, there you go. So that nestles in. Now the idea is we are gonna fit this into here and it is actually gonna flip up and stay up like that. So do you reckon it's better to do, to stick it all in fully assembled? Zach's nodding. We can't hear you because we've got the microphone anyway. So, so we've got an exciting day tomorrow, haven't we, Zach? Yeah. We've got two people coming for an interview tomorrow. Right then. So yeah, so we, we've got it. So that, sorry, alcohol wipe, just to get rid of all that slimy back to black or whatever else because the adhesive pad doesn't stick to it. Right, so you can see, now before you take this off, I'm gonna put this back on it. Before you take it off, it's always worth doing a little trial fit, isn't it? Just to make sure you know where you're gonna, so it should sort of rest down and these little tapered bits should, should catch it. Well, you have gotta be careful you don't pull it down too far, but I think as I fit it, I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna ride it up the little ramp until it hits. Yeah, we've got a plan. I'll make up as I go along. Right, here we go. Right, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start back here. I'm sticking at the bottom already. There you go, all right, that's that. It. All right, give that a good press, there you go. And you really wanna be, lead, you don't wanna be playing with it too much, do you? Because I'm just seeing there now, I suggest you don't flip it up and clip it up for 24 hours. Let the adhesive do its stuff. And then you've got a, well, a charger. Now that's going to obviously plug into the USB port that's supposed to be there. Um, is there two ports on some on some cars? There's a media port which is USB, and there's a power port that's USB. If you get problems that doesn't work, make sure you've got it in the power port, not the media music port. But there you go. That's it. And then you can put your phone on there, and it will charge. And there's enough clearance to close the lid and everything. And it's all there, out the way so you won't get distracted. Anything else you want to add, Zach? Just flip it up. Flip it up. It's nice, there you go, click. And um, that's all there. I'm, I'm reluctant to pull it down with it. It'll be all right. There you go. So, um, there you go. We'll put that for sale on the website. Let us know if you've got any ideas, any comments. Let us know, do they have fridges? Are fridges in a disco sport, or are they not deluxe enough? We'll have a look. Tell us. Um, I'm not sure if it's compatible if you've got a fridge, but I don't think I've seen a fridge in a Discovery Sport. I think that's for the flash cars. Oops. Right, good luck with that. <laughs> Zach's been telling me I'm a bit of a wimp. It's just, it'll be fine. The adhesive's fine. Just give it two minutes. There you go. All done. Bonus feature. I was just trying to pull this off, and now it's, now it's, now it's stuck so well. Oh. Um, but you can actually demount this this panel here for those of you that are interested. You can get a little tool behind here, and this whole panel does actually clip off. So you've got these four green clips here that go into four slots at the back here. So you could, if you really wanted, sort of drill or screw, but you don't need to. That is look how fierce that's stuck on there. That end coming off. But, and that, have we shown, actually we ought to show people that it is designed to come off, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And you can just click this back on here and it does spring back in. 
So you can actually leave the base on and pull that off if you so desire. Right, good luck with that.